Cedric, this morning at your keynote at European Utility Week, you asked the audience, are we doing enough? Are we? No. I mean, we wouldn't put all our technology, all, all our wit into this if we were thinking that things are good enough. We so we have, we have to push the envelope, we have to go further. Now, you then kind of went on and said, but a lot of people in the industry, yeah. myself included, will go, and we're in the industry, and it's like, God, this is complicated. <laughs> so for the general public out there, or general businessmen, uh -huh. they're like, where do I start? And the answer was very simple, start with yourself. I mean, we start at Siemens and say, we are going to basically save, or we're going to be carbon neutral by 2030. So we're taking our own technology, we drink our own champagne, as we call it, yeah. to apply all the technology we have to reduce basically the energy um, consumption we have and the carbon footprint we have. So that's number one. So do, so do it yourself? Do it yourself. Second one, we have great technology, share it. We share our technology, we share our gas turbines, our mobility solutions, our smart building solutions to be able for you to reduce this environment. So the second one is really sort of make sure that your technology is being applied. Siemens technology saves 610 million carbon tons of CO2. This is what you want. It's 80% of the German carbon footprint. So share. First one, use it. Second one, share, share. it. The third one, build ecosystems. It's not enough for me to share my technology. I need to work with others. I need to work with customers. I need to work with e with, with startups, with different people to be able to actually make it relevant. Yeah, there's there's so many moving pieces. And Absolutely. as you say, the ecosystem, no, no, one, no one company has all the answers. Absolutely. Now, then during the, the press conference, so on the booth here, you have four key themes. You had the, the sustainable grids, uh, smart distribution, the internet of energy, and you were talking about grid edge. Now, the world I came from, IT guy, <laughs> grid edge was the box at the end of the wire. So I was, I was coming here going, see me talking about grid edge. Yes, yeah, boxes. You have a very different concept of grid edge. Absolutely, I mean, if you think that grid edge is because you put a smart meter somewhere and that's your grid edge, or that's, that's smart meters because it's meter data management, absolutely not. The idea of grid edge is the following is, Grids have to become more and more smarter because there's more and more participants which actually produce and generate energy. And the biggest producers and, and generators of energy are actually buildings, if you think about it. As these two come together, there's completely new markets which are opening up. You need to start storing the energy, you need yep. to start trading the energy, you need to start being able to put um, to, to change complete industries by putting, for example, e-charging ca capabilities. So this is what we mean by grid edge. It's really where the building and the grid come together to create new markets. And, and it kind of it was a bit of a light bulb moment for me because I'm kind of going, oh, okay, hang on a second. It's the, it is where it's coming together with the, the grid, the infrastructure, the buildings. That's the yeah. grid edge. So as I say, good stuff. Thank you. Absolutely. Thanks, Kevin. <laughs>